Hi guys, this is Modesty and welcome back to my channel. Um, and if you're new, how are you? Welcome. So today I want to film another video that I think would be really good for the new year because we're all, you know, we're all motivated, we have goals, some of us want to get promoted, some of us want to get new jobs, things like that. So I thought I'd share with you a very simple, easy to achieve makeup look that is so professional and so easy that anyone can achieve it. If you're looking for that very first, you know, adult job and you just want to look put together for an interview or for a meeting, anything like that, this is just such a good look because it helps bring attention to your eyes and your lips without being distracting, if that makes sense. There's nothing over the top, there's nothing too crazy, there's nothing that's too defined, there's nothing that requires a lot of precision, it's just so simple, so easy. You can do it with basically probably anything you already have in your collection. I am sharing with you a few things I love, especially some brushes I think would be really helpful for the professional woman. I went with more a taupe because it's not too much, it's not too little, not too warm, not too cool, looks good on everybody. And if you have a little more deeper skin tone, you can go with a little bit darker shade. If you're more fair than me, go with something a little bit lighter. Um, I was something more in the middle, but yeah, and I pair it with a lip that is what I call a your lips but better look in the sense that you just take what is kind of like your natural lip color and if you were to take your natural lip color and put it in a lipstick. That's what I went with. I also wanted to do a look that still looked good without lashes, you guys, because seriously, lashes are taking over the makeup world, the beauty community, and so many people feel like they can't look pretty with makeup unless they have lashes. That is not true. I kind of fell into that as well. If you guys remember, I was a huge person on not using false lashes um, when I first started my channel, and then I just started using them all the time, and that's just not realistic, you guys. And I want to go back to my roots of being realistic, and so I want to share with you a no lashes, super easy makeup look for the modern professional woman. So if you'd like to see how to create this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I like this look that I created because it's very, very, literally anyone can achieve this, you guys. And I also like it because you can amp it up for nighttime, like if you're leaving work and you will go out to dinner, you can easily just pop on some lashes or add some extra mascara, maybe a little eyeliner and a darker look and you're good to go. But um, that is just so simple, it complements every single eye type, every single eye shape, everything. It's just such a good look. So we're just going to just dive right into it. I need to prime my eyes though. I still can't find my favorite eyeshadow primer. I don't know what happened to it. It just kind of disappeared. Instead, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape um, to prime my eyes. Not my favorite thing to use, but I mean, I've used concealer for so long. I just, I got used to an eyeshadow base because I actually found one that like I loved. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take this e.l.f. blending brush. Go ahead and just spread this out evenly. So you don't have to set this. It really depends on your eye type. If you have really oily eyelids, I do recommend setting it, but mine aren't oily. In fact, they can be kind of dry sometimes. So um, as long as I like close my eyes and let it dry, I'm good to go and I don't need to set it with a powder. And I kind of like not having to set it because it kind of gives more for the eyeshadow to cling to, to bring out the pigmentation a little more. Again, I'm not pulling. I just have to keep my eyelids nice and tight so that nothing skips. This part you don't have to do. You have nice young eyelids and you're good to go. But you know, things tend to be a little looser as you get older and I am pushing my 30s almost and so things just aren't as taut as they once were. So yeah, so there we go. Now that that is all set, we're just gonna start diving right into the eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using my uh, go-to brushes, you guys. These are hands down like my favorite brushes. You guys have seen me use them so many times. I'm gonna have links to them um, down below. I need to be better about that. The things that I'm constantly using in every single video, I want to start sharing this with you a little bit more. So um, I'm gonna be taking my E40. I literally mentioned this one in every single video the best blending brush created of all time. And today I'm going in with my my BH Studio Pro Ultimate Neutral Shadow Palette. I love their uh, um, artistry palettes from BH Cosmetics, a really good pigmentation, good quality, a lot of shades, and it's dirt and cheap, you guys. In fact, I think they're on sale right now. I'm gonna put a link to this down below. Um, it's cheaper than a Morphe palette, um, but I still like it just the same. And you have all these shades in here, all neutrals. This is a really good palette for literally everybody. And especially the professional woman because you have so many different shades. You can use like eyeliner, you can have do a little warmer, neutral look, but it's not too much, you know what I'm saying? So we're using this today and I'm taking my E40 and I'm gonna go right in with this transition shade right here. 
Now they can be able to see this too much. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is me, um, my transition shade in the beginning to start out with to help the blending process. But this is really going to be so easy, you guys. You don't need too much precision for this look, which is why I like it so much. Because it can be for beginners or even advanced um, makeup artists as well. I'm just taking it right here in my crease. I do have to lift my eyelids a little bit. But you can kind of just get this everywhere. You don't have to be precise about it, as I said. You can go up as high as you want or keep it as low as you want. Moving into the taupes, I'm going with this one right here. And I'm still using that E40. We're going to be moving to a little more precise brush in a second here. But I want to kind of bring it in the taupe. So I chose taupe because it's very neutral like some people don't like how they look um in certain you know tones like some don't like warm tones some don't like cool tones um, um topes are right there in the center so it kind of goes good with everyone but it's also light enough to where it's not gonna be overpowering so i really like taupe a lot slightly just building up a little bit more definition without being too much make sure it is all blended out like that. You just want to keep it just a hair lower than that original shade. Alright, setting aside the E40, we're moving down to another one of my favorite brushes from Sigma. You guys, I'm just a huge Sigma fanatic. I love the company. I love just everything. I love what they stand for and I just really love, especially that they give you a, um, a warranty with your brushes because they believe in their brushes that much. So one that I really, really love is the E25 from Sigma. I use this one a lot. I'm going right over to the little bit deeper taupe right here. Same thing, but we are just going to keep it a little lower and more on the outer portion of the eye. But if you do get it in here, totally fine again. Right here, if it gets kind of messy, don't worry about that. We're gonna clean it up. Again, you can be a total beginner with this look, you guys. This is why I wanna do this look for a, you know, working woman. Cause you know, there's some women who only wear makeup for work and actually I feel like there's more common than you think so I wanted something that was easy for anyone to achieve but um, it still gives some attention still brings attention to your eyes so once we have that we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go into this shade down here this is a slightly shimmery shade it's still that taupey color it looks really intense you guys don't worry and we're just going to take it on our finger. We are going to make this so simple, you guys. Take out your finger. You don't need precision. We're just highlighting that lid of yours to just bring a little bit more attention to your eyes. They're not so much that it's going to be distracting um, at work or in meetings or anything like that. And you can just like press this on with your finger. Now, when you do it that way, you're going to get a teeny bit of fallout, which is why I always recommend doing your eyeshadow first, just for that reason. But if you don't, shadow shields will be just fine. This just be feel like being a little extra. I just want to show you your options. Spritz your brush with some X Plus setting spray, water, whatever. And just go in with that same shade. And go right on the inner corner. And feather that inwards like that. Just to bring a little bit more attention to that outer corner. Now, again, this part is not necessary. I just want to show you your options. And do you see how it just kind of, in my opinion, it brings a little bit more attention to the eyes because it helps define that inner corner. Third, where is it? The third darkest taupe right there. And we are just going to focus it on the outer portion of your eye. I'm just doing stamping motions. I'm going to take my Sigma E45, which is one of my favorite brushes as well. And we are going to go in with this darkest kind of chocolate, chocolatey taupe shade right there. And what this is going to do is help lift the eye because we're going to be stamping it right here. And just putting a darker shade right there is, as you can see, this side to this side. Even though I have a darker shade on this side, it looks more open because it helped enhance right here and made it seem even more bright. And you don't really need to add a lot, you guys. Just, that's it. That's it. Just enough to 
bring balance to your eyes. Alright, so moving on to some eyeliner, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Dimensional Dark Brown. This is the multi-purpose pencils. These are great. You can use these as brow pencils, you can use them as lip liners, eyeliners. You know, there's like a million colors of them, so they have a lot of uses. And I happen to use the Dimensional Dark Brown for my brows sometimes and for a good natural eyeliner because I have dark brown eyes as well and you really want to just make your eyes pop you don't want to distract at work so I'm just taking it and I'm just wiggling it right here and I'm not going all the way in I'm almost like simulating like a wing liner without the wing you know how it's like almost non-existent here and it's thicker and thicker that's what I'm doing right here but before it dries, I'm going to take a little smudger brush. This is the Makeup Forever 216. It looks just like a little pencil brush. And I'm just going to smoke that out because I don't want a harsh eyeliner line. I just want it to um, define my eyes. So now what I'm doing, this seems really strange, you guys, but I want to get all the pigment on there. I'm taking the E40 now, going in with just a neutral taupe shade. And I am literally going over top of everything, guys, because you don't want it to be super intense for work. But I still wanted to get the pigment on there, so I'm really just trying to get the extra, like, glitter off. Essentially, because, you know, we're at work, we're not trying to be glittery. And that just softened everything up a ton. Now, you could have left it the other way if you... depend. It really just depends on, like, what your job is. You could have left it the other way. Um, or that could have been like your night out version, but you know if I was working in our office Or just doing some sort of professional work where you know You want to be taken seriously. You want to really take care of yourself You know, I would do something like this. So I'm gonna be just popping on some mascara. You can do lashes I might do lashes later in the video just for the sake of the video But for now, I'm just gonna do some mascara. So we are pausing right there for the eyeshadow I'm really moving on it to the face so I need to take, I'm just going to be taking my MAC Lightful um, Marine Bright Formula, the SPF 30. You always need SPF here in Hawaii. I mean, you should always use SPF no matter what, but especially here in Hawaii because the sun is so powerful here, you guys. Like, you can burn like mad on a freaking cloudy day. Um, just, you can always just burn here. And then I'm going to take my YSL, um primer and work that into my skin the primer is very essential for a more professional look because it's going to help smooth that skin out but at the same time it's going to help it last all day you're not having to sit there touching up your makeup at your desk or you know whatever taking breaks in the day just to touch your makeup up always use a primer no matter what I recommend really either a really long wearing CC cream or a long wearing foundation and so the one I'm going to show you guys right now is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I did just use this one in another video, but I just love it, you guys. And I'm going to do somewhat a little bit lighter coverage. Um, so I'm going to do one pump instead of like two or three, <laughs> which is a lot. And I'm going to do take it and just dot it on my face. I'm going to be working in sections. I'm just taking a foundation brush. This is the M439 from Morphe. Even that one pump was too much foundation, I think, for what I'm going for. I still have, like, so much of my one pump left. This foundation has such good coverage, you guys. I'm serious. And it's so comfortable, too. So I can still see, like, my skin peeking through, which I like. Like, I still have a little bit of discoloration right there, which I'm fine with. I just want to look a little bit more put together and it's already drying down to like a powder finish which is really nice concealer i take the makeup forever ultra hd concealer i love this stuff you guys take a little bit on my fingers and i don't want to do a ton i just want a little bit to kind of just wake yourself up here here and then here and then just take i like using a taper brush like this one Where's the one I really love though? It's like dark or something, whatever. This one is from Morphe. It's the, I don't know, I got it in one of those uh, 
bag thingies like two years ago. We need to set that. I'm just going to take my veil um, powder and I'm going to take it on just the tapered highlighter, the F35 from Sigma. And I'm not baking today, you guys. I just, I'm not in the mood for it. A powder brush and lightly set the rest of my face. <coughs> I don't need a ton of powder with this foundation because it does dry to a powder finish. So that's literally all you do. All right, you guys, I just went ahead and did my brows really quickly. I've been loving using my BH Studio Pro Palette. Um, I really like just, I kind of just do a combination of like all of this right here, depending on the mood I'm in. And I just, I love it. It has like the wax and everything in it. It's, it's a really, really good palette. It's really affordable as well. I'm going to take the pencil brush that we used in that same vanilla shade. It's matte. And I'm just going to, I'm doing a matte brow bone highlight today, you guys. Something super natural, because again, you know, this is a professional makeup look. You know, we're not going to the prom. And I'm also going to take the same brush, just the lightest taupe shade that we used. And you don't want to do anything crazy. Um, every time you do your eyeshadow, I always recommend that you round off your eye. Really the only reason we're doing stuff here is because we've canceled out all the color on our skin essentially and so we need to bring it back and so i'm just going to take um this is just a fluffy bronzer brush and i'm just bringing the color back to my skin nothing crazy bronzing in real time you guys no cutting this out so you can see how quick and how quick it is That was it. And just a natural blush shade, you guys. So Burt's Bees is my go-to. This one's one in shy pink. I'm just going to use that bronzer brush again to bring that flush back to my cheeks. I'm going to be moving on. I'm just going to do a very natural highlight. And my favorite one for that is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Not really any sparkle or anything to this. And I'm going to take that original tapered highlighter. And I'm literally just gonna go over like this entire area. All we need now is the mascara and then just a lip color. So I'm just gonna take that same mascara, put a little bit on my lower lash line, not necessary. This is for like your own preference. I happen to like putting mascara on the top and bottom because I feel like it opens your eyes more. But some people have, you know, really long lower lashes or they have like no lower lashes. It really just kind of depends on you and your face and what makes you comfortable and what makes you happy. For the lip color, especially for like a more professional look, I always recommend a what I call a your lips but better look. So I'm really, my go-to for that one is Soar Lip Liner. You know, add a little color. But again, you don't want anything distracting or anything that requires a lot of maintenance. And then for the actual lip color itself, I always recommend just putting like a lipstick over top. The only thing is going to start looking so crusty. So I'm going to take So Select from MAC. But yeah, that is it, you guys. This is just a very professional look. And I love it. All right, guys, so that's it for this makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you took any of these tips from me and you think would be just, you think you might be able to incorporate them in your life, let me know what was helpful about this video or what wasn't helpful about this video. I will have all of the products I used in the description box, even though it's not necessary because you can literally use anything out of your collection. But if you're curious about what I specifically use, I will have a link to you down below, as long as, as with any coupon codes I can find on the internet or anything like that. Um, also make sure you check out my vlog channel. I am vlogging again. I'm very active on there now and I'm also doing the Kanmari method for tidying my house. So if you're curious about that series, head on over to my vlog channel and subscribe there. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning into this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Goodbye.